Ace one, three is too many. There is a missing, there is mo a missing mother. Her name is Adern Maya. A neighbor alerted the police to screaming and crying from a woman. When an agent arrived at the scene, he found two bodies of two children. We have identified them and they are Adern's children. They were seven and eight years old. Nothing else has been touched. Collect the evidence you find and take it to the police station. Alright, an AI reading for me. Oh, change of pace. Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> Collect evidence, place the pointer over the object, you can interact and a new white circle will appear. When evidence is collected, a white line appears around the object and a yellow marker appears. At that time, you already have the evidence saved to use for later. In your notebook, you'll be able to see how many evidences you have and how many are missing. In addition, you'll be able to view basic information about any evidence you collected. When you're done, go back to the exit door. Police badge. Alcohol beverage and diazepam. Nay. A warning has been received for very loud screaming. The scream sounded like children. Bitten sandwich. It's a very little body. This is also a very little body. Remember that today we have a meeting of Alcoholics Anonymous. Wait a minute, they're knocking on the door. Everything all right? I'm at the meeting and you're not here. You've never been absent. Return, why don't you answer? I'm worried. It's not help. Girlfriend wasn't sober. Empty bottles. She was sitting at the stool or the kitchen island eating. Peanut butter knife. Knife with peanut butter. And milk. <laughs> the milk. Do I have a flashlight? Should notice. Oh no, little man. You have been selected to be a part of Stella Porta. Uh, you have been selected to be part of Stella Porta, a redemption project for extreme crimes. For you to join the program, you must sign this document and leave everything behind. We'll provide you with what you need. Extremely allergic to peanuts. 
Four children? She fed them peanuts? Did you do that? We aren't going to open doors. Drawers? That seems to be important. <laughs> the inside is a mirror. <laughs> Alright, uh... missing. I mean, other than the children's bodies, which they're already marked. Okay, we can open drawers. It just took me a minute to figure out how. I think I got all of 13 images. Yep. Paintings. Are these AI generated paintings? I think they are. You leave before you find all the evidence, you may not be able to solve the crime. Station. To solve the case, you must order the photographs chronolo chronologically. They have to be in order uh, in which the crime happened. Consult them. I think this goes here?
because I'm not sure of the timing of this. This could have been last. Was there? There. An unidentified person approaches Adern Maya's door. This person knew that Adern is an alcoholic and was in rehab to get over it. Before talking to them, this person introduces diazepam to some of the sample alcoholic beverages. We know this person might have access to medical records and medications. This person poses as a vendor and offers them the drink samples in which she had previously introduced uh, diazepam. Adern accepts. They drink, drink some of these bottles, and falls unconscious. Once they're asleep, this person enters the house and spreads peanut butter on both children's sandwiches. She keeps them in the fridge so that when they get home from school, they eat them. Once the children eat the snacks, they die within a few seconds. Adern is still unconscious. This person also has access to the children's medical records, as he knows that they're extremely allergic to peanuts. Uh, I notice the pronoun keeps changing between he... And her, and it should be they. Later, once he made sure that the children are dead, he assesses the home and wakes up Adern. Taking advantage of the fact that she is disoriented, she shows him a false police badge and a neighborhood complaint where she explains that some children's have, or some neighbors have called alerted by children's scream. The fake policemen make uh, her believe that since she's an alcoholic, she has inadvertently allowed her children to eat some food with peanuts. And since she was very drunk, she committed a crime of involuntary manslaughter, showing her the corpses of the children. In shock and still under the influence of narcotics, believes that what the policeman says is true. Taking advantage of that vulnerability, uh, he gives them two options. The first is to go to jail and spend the rest of their life there. The second is a project called Stella Porta, explaining that it is a place for the redemption of very serious crimes. For now, we do not have more information about what Stella Porta is, but we do know that Edern Mia agreed to join the project since he signed the document. Next cake. Oh, and that was the demo. Thank you for playing the demo. I hope you liked it. Detective Stella Porta case will be out this year. If you can, add it to your wish list. This will help me a lot. Thanks. I liked it. It was kind of, it was curious. 